is worth a thousand words and through this stories are told all over the world with me is Bran Ogutu a university student who is taking himself through university by the art of photography and videography Ogutu you take art as your passion right yes. and tell us about your hobbies what do you love um I'm Bran Ogutu uh, I love uh, swimming acting, writing, reading, but mostly I love, I love uh, writing. When I'm going through some hard times, the moment I write what I'm going through on paper, I feel like I'm relieved, so I like uh, writing. Uh, swimming, I also love swimming because when I'm exhausted, when I just see water, I feel like ah, I'm okay. And um, reading, I can read all day. I like being informed. So, Reading, yeah. I can spend most of the time reading just to get informed of what about what's going around the world, what's new, what's happening, what's trending. I like I love reading. Yeah. Let me salute you first for uh, taking you. taking yourself through university is really, really not an easy task. Uh, and photography, videography is a technical skill. Yeah. Take us through how you started it. Um uh, after high school. Uh, my desk mate was a very good friend of mine when he, he joined Kenyatta University. So while I was in Nairobi, most of the time I had nothing to do. So when he was going uh, to his shoots, I would tell him, ah, Kevin, you can accompany me so that we go there. I, I did not want to, to stay at home because there was nothing that I was doing. So when I was going there, since he was already into the field, nilikuwa na jituma na mwambia Kevin msaidie kamera hapo nione so tukienda yeye hakuwa anafanya hiyo kazi sana na mimi nilikuwa nafurahia hiyo so akinipea mimi nakaa ni kama ni junior so when the clients uh, came mimi nilikuwa napiga hizo picha and they were like hmm these are good photos you are doing a good job but sio mimi napewa the glory nyie yeah, anapewa the glory you know but deep down i'm like oh, okay so i can do this and uh, that was in 2018 and the same year I thought, okay, why not purchase a camera, but a camera is expensive. So what I will do, since Kevin is in uh, Kenyatta University, I will hire his camera from Monday to Saturday, to Friday. So he most, mostly he was doing his shoots on weekends. So I will hire his camera from Monday to Friday. So when I hire the camera, while I'm at Maseno, I will make sure that I, you, I get the most out of it. Ndiyo at least upate pesa kidogo hapa, na pia unajua ukihire ni pesa ya nataka. So, lazima ni akikishe, kama ni kona hizi five days, ni tumie the camera to its maximum. Na nikipata uneza kupata ume anakwambia, from Monday to Friday, you can send me 3,000 to 5,000. So, kwa lazima ukwena targets. Ndi ufikishe 3,000 to 5,000. Lazima ume mwenye piu nataka upate yako. So, you must aim higher. Ndi unini. So, like that, nikaona, nikaanza kupata interest in photography. That was in January when I used to hire. By March, I had saved some cash. Then I approached my dad, thanks to him. Nikamambia, baby, nimeona, nikiwa na camera, uneza hata kunifanyia vitu zingine. You know, at that time, it wasn't easy. Kwa sababu, kama mimi, alikuwa na nitumia pesa weekly, weekly, weekly. Sometimes, imefika on Sunday, unona impesa message, imeingia, mashanga, ah, alituma pesa tu juzi. But deep down, najua home, things are not that good. So nikaanza kuona eh ni kama maybe ananitumia pesa sana na home wanaumia you know. Jusa ingine angenipigia anambia oh kuna kitu leo anamwambia eh leo sina anambia hey jo leo hakuna acha tungoje mpaka Wednesday na maybe it's on Sunday unaona. So naona eh na I'm stress. So nikaanza kuona nikamo approach nikamwambia naona ukinibaya hii mimi naona naweza ji manage. Starting was hard kwa sababu you know not many people know you as a photographer. Ama ukiwa na camera, wasa wana kushu, watu wana kushu kwa naona, ah, can, this, can he really do this? Mm -hmm. So starting was not that easy. Utapata, sasa junisha mwambia, ni kampatia pesa nilikuwa na ayo, na pia haka waniongezea. Siyezi mpigia tena kumsumbua. Kama the time enye ali nisaidia kubayo camera was during exam time. 
so time exams people are uh, kuji shoot na hiyo time sasa unajua alishakubaia so hawezi anza kumuitisha tena so you must get you must utoke nje ile uone kama hata si lazima ubaki maseno uende kisumu utafute clients it wasn't in but uh, from that time at least nilipiga piga kazi hivi the uh, clients waka grow fan base yangu ika grow uh, nika photography by the way imefanya nikafika places zenye mimi mwenyewe siko naweza ona nitawahi fika nice. so it's been a hard journey but considering why i started on where i am i thank god mm-hmm. yeah so when did all this start um it started in 2017 tumemaliza high school so si tunaingia campus but so unajua kuna ile time ya from high school to join campus ni time refu so hiyo time unajua hakuna kitu cha kufanya sasa si hapo lazima ujitume tume unajua sample ndo rafiki yangu ananiambia mimi nenda kufanya shoot naambia ah kama unaenda kufanya shoot si ni kwa company to me utanipatia tu 200 to 300 instead of sitting at home that will do better than kukaa nyumbani so tukienda unapata mmeenda shoot hata mmeenda kwa tuseme hoteli fulani unaona he okay so photography can get you to such places pemi nikaanza kuwa na interest so yeye kuna time alikuwa anapata gigs anaenda kushoot hata member of parliament flani weddings flani anjambia okay why not pia mimi naweza nataka kukuwa kama nani kama huyu you, you know that time we are fresh from high school so eh brother yake alikuwa in the field so anamtuma hizo assignments zenye haendi anamtuma so mimi naona eh kama kevin tumemaliza naye tu juzi na he can do this why can't i do this kama kevin yeah na nivo tu tukaanza sasa hizi pia mimi at least naweza enda kwa member of parliament au politicians ama kama ni weddings you can cover other weddings so naona sasa hizi ule Kevin mwenye nilikuwa nataka kukua I, I'm already that and I'm even past that. Uh, yeah. Uh, speaking of fan base, umesema through your your hustle umekuwa na fan base. Do you have any particular brand that you work under or are you just freelance? Um at the moment I'm I'm a freelance but I work alongside other brands. Um kama nimepartner na Suso hizo hiyo ni NGO Gold Girl and Boy Africa uh there's another group um I've forgotten the name but to me partner na wao so whenever because okay some the, so that you are a partner si lazima tu uko una bring the financial aspect kwa nini so naambia ndio ni kuwa part of your group mkienda easy events mimi nitakuwa nachukua the videos and the photographs na pia naweza andika something on, about this event alafu to post kwa website yetu hivyo so through that nime partner na wao na pia wanani support in some ways ju is it um projects zenye tunaenda kufanya zenye hazina pesa sina shida lakini yenye kuna fans ikikuja wanaona there is no need of going outside kupata mtu mwingine yet we have one of our own so wanani support pia mimi and i'm grateful for that and do you have any particular area that you capture your photos on ama you just do general work um you know if you take photography as a business hawezi kuwa na ati Maybe mainly I'm doing this. Mm. Ukisema mainly I'm doing this, kuna mwingine atakwambia I want this. So will you leave the job because you don't do this? You'll just have to do. Um but majorly napenda ku take portraits I'm a portrait photographer, but I can do any other thing that relates to photography. Kwa sababu you can't turn a job down just because you don't like it. You'll just deliver. Yeah. Okay. You said you joy uh, you started this journey in 2017. Is that the year you joined campus and right now which year are you in? Yeah, that's the year I joined campus. Uh at the moment I'm a fourth year student. Uh, I'm finishing my studies this year and uh, god willing I'll graduate in December. Mm-hmm. So I'm on my final lap. Nimebakisha time kidogo tu alafu namalize. Um from 2017 mpaka sasa hizi COVID ili kam katikati. So hiyo ili disrupt me kidogo but sasa hizi nayo namaliza so photography nimeifanya for all that while i guess it's four five years mm. yeah four years four years yeah so nimefanya for four years and the four years niki look back kama siku hizi naangalia anga pale nilianzia nikiangalia zile picha nilikuwa napiga four years mpaka mm. sasa hizi najiambia wa so i was the one who took this and it's been a process na imekuwa ni journey juu kiangalia back na plus place uko sasa hizi you know people sasa hizi wakiangalia wanaona hey umsena yako successful but hawaongalii place umetoka ama hawajui but it's been 
a rough road back, but where I am right now, never advice or say this photography in a videography equals how. Come up on a camera, you can do anything. You know, what the eye sees is not what the camera sees. Mm. So, never manipulate Nikue something perfect. perfect. If you want to get into this, let something not hold you back. Just go into it. Mm. Yeah. About Umesema when it was here. Yeah. And uh, photography in the school fees. Mm. For all those years, I'm going to tell you that I'm going to Okay, see this summer, mm. ati imekuwa tu ni photography peke yake kwa sababu you know mm. kuna other channels kama tunashukuru at least the government imeleta CDF. Mm. Uh, so unaweza enda kwa CDF, unaomba kidogo hapa, unaomba kidogo hapa juu ukisema ulipe school fees hivyo, hautalipa school fees peke yake. Uko na rent, lazima ulipe. Kuna food, lazima ulipe. Kuna pesa zingine zenye haupigiangi hesabu kama unaweza pata event yenye mnafaa kuenda ni voluntary fair lazima ufanye nini hiyo ni wewe haya mm. kama mimi i'm the first born uh, in a family of five utapata sasa dada yangu mdogo amenambia hey, hey bro sasa hizi sina hii hii na hii siwezi mwambie mimi sina mimi nafanya you get <laughs> yeah. lazima ukwe the bigger the bigger brother mm. lazima unaona sasa kuna hiyo support pia ndogo ndogo hapa mm. yeah but imekuwa tu sawa photography pia although majorly photography ndio naweza sana ni support kwa sababu that's what i majorly do mm. kama ni rent nini niyo camera nikiangalia naona hii ni rent nafaa kutoka hapa hivi kama ni school fees ndio iko hapa hivi yeah so lazima ufanye hiyo kazi yeah lazima ufanye usipofanye itatoka wapi <laughs> because so far yeah. that's hiyo ndio if yes, saizi that's my job mm, that's my job ju kama saizi what i always tell uh, I always like talking to young people. So na penanga kuambia right now the country when you tuko usitegemee tu masomo because there are very many learned people. Kusoma ni vizuri. Lakini ukitoka hapo campus uko na degree ni sawa, uko na diplo, diploma sawa. You have your papers but job hakuna. So to you don't just sit at home. Kama uko na kitu yenyu unataka kufanya unapenda kufanya na unaona unaweza monetize. Do that. Kwa sababu nowadays these jobs zenye watu wanafanya wenyewe pay hata kuliko jobs zenye watu wengine wameandikwa unaona there are some people making a killing out of easy jobs za kujifanyia because you do this unafanya if you love doing something go for it and at least utaweza monetize na iko ni unaona mtu kama aziad aziad alikuwa anapenda ku dance unaona but in case angekuwa serious aseme tu mimi i want to learn abaki pale Kenya mass unaona angekuwa pale siko sasa hizi she alifanya kitu anapenda kufanya but unaona sasa hizi ana make a lot of money from what she loves doing yeah so you can be the next her ama what about the next you yeah maybe pia mimi niko na wale mentors wenye pia mimi naona nataka kuwa hapa and it's always funny kwa sababu utapata kuna wase kuna watu wanaona hey who may make it you know but mimi nikiangalia naona no mimi bado but there is always that person pia mimi na looking up to nasema i want to be like this person mm. but surprisingly pia mtu mwenye una look up to yeye pia anajiambia i want to be like that other person so the process yes but wewe hata kama ndio unaanza saa hizi you'll always have someone who says that you're doing a good job mm. you everybody always wants something good but in this field how to ikosa client kwa sababu kuna mtu mwenye hajawahi pigwa picha na camera amezoea simu so ukikuja hata na that camera of yours it's not that expensive ama haina ile quality kwa sababu una equipments juu ni expensive na ndo unaanza but you still have clients na mtu atakwambia hey, you are doing a good job so just go for it usi let something not hold you back kama unapenda kufanya kitu kama unapenda ku dance kama unapenda ku act go into it it can make changes in your life yeah you talked about talking to the youth and mentoring is that something you also do Mm, okay growing up i was born in pomwani uh, majengo slum so maisha ya ghetto maisha si rahisi unaona huko hivyo kuna cases kama tukiwa pre unit tulikuwa wengi but right now many boys wenye tulikuwa tumesoma na hao many tumezika unaona because they got involved into crime kama ni the girls wenye tulikuwa tumesoma na hao huko pre unit wali drop ya high school wengine primary ali pregnancy is unaona so right now where i am 
nataka kuchukua hiyo opportunity so that nikipata wale kuna mabrother wa wale wenye tulisoma nao young generation nikienda pale mtaa i talk to them niwaambie by the way si ati hii mtaa inatoanga tu watu wabaya because hapo home they just see unatoka wapi natoka pale majengo wakikuona they don't see you as someone of value wanakuona kama wewe ni criminal either ama you not something you not someone who's productive to the society but i want to change that narrative kama ni watoto wadogo niwaambie si kila mtu hapa hivi lazima tu abaki hapa hivi unaweza toka hapa and you go places unaweza toka hapa hivi na ukue mtu wa maana kwa society so i talk to them nawaambia education ni poa unajua kwa watu wapendi kusoma ukifika after class 8 uh chest in broad and unajiona sawa ni mtu mkubwa so i talk to them nawaambia hapana si lazima hii an educated mind sometimes is helpful to the society unaona wewe ukikuwa unajua the society something funny about it ni ati at that young age uko around 16 watu wanaanza kuona wewe mwenyewe unaona mimi ndio kusema the society but surprisingly so ukifika hapo around 22 23 so unajua kuna wenye wanakuja nyuma yako sasa wale wenye wanajiona hivyo so unajua life is different na wewe but if you educated mimi kama pale nyumbani nikienda niongeleshe wa mama naweza weka wa group ya mama na niongeleshe na mpaka au wa know waseme ya wanasikiza unaona so you can change a lot of lives through education so wanawaambia msome wasichana don't get into early marriages girls have a lot to offer to the society unaona sio tu sahizi the moment umefika adolescence unaona education is no nini ah ah soma education me what i always drive nikiwa huko nyumbani ni kuambia ngatu watu wasome kama ni hao wanaume don't get usije involved kwa hizi crime nini stop kuna kama uko home tume, nimeanzisha movement na bianga vijana on saturdays tunaweza patana mahali ile skill watu wanapenda kucheza football hiyo football tunaweza humanitize tuleta wase then tuongelesha tuambie mnafanya aje so kuna organization kama St John's Community Center naweza sema thanks to St John's Community Center juu pale high school walinisaidia kunilipia school fees St John's Community Center so tuna partner St John's Community Center au wenye wanaso, wanaweza soma na wanacheza football St John's Community Center inaongeza kwa program wanawapatia fee nona so through that at least tumeweza kusaidia community in that way yeah that is very very i don't know <laughs> niseme kujitolea kwako because since you know i have a skill and i can use it to monetize yeah. so you do not do it on your own unarudi pale penye ulitoka unasaidia wenzako kubwa mimi siwezi sahau home because east or west home, home is, is the best, best. so na the challenges zenye nimepitia nikiwa hapo home mm. siwezi taka mse mwingine apitie hizo challenges kwa sababu it's been tough unaona you sing mtu mwenye mmezoeana friends wewe ile mmezoeana you are 15 mm. years lakini yeye hey, hayuko unasikia alikuwa hapa alipigwa risasi mm. it's painful juu hawezi angalia unaona eh hey, at form 1 ama at form 2 nani ashakufa unaona as in ni hard realities zenye hawezi accept but that's how things are so ndio kitu kama hiyo si happen tena at least tuanze ku cut from the grassroots ah uh, when you wanna grow tuanze kuambia hapana this is not the way vitu zinaweza change tunaweza fuata this road na you can be successful So in your journey of photography share with us your memorable experiences and the worst and why were they that <laughs> Okay acha nianze na the worst ndo tuende tuende kuzuri Yeah kuzuri yeah. So the worst experiences I'm just sa in a hustle no no na Kenya ni different from other countries kama siku hizi ukiingia social media unaweza ona uko watu wako the western countries photographers on the streets taking photos that doesn't happen in Kenya. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu kama tukiwa pale town huwa tunajificha city, can, city council watakuuliza wapi license. License pekee ya kufanya shoot CBD is almost 25 to 30,000. Mm. Yeah, it's expensive. You're not just allowed to shoot anything. So sisi civil report tunafanya tulikuwa tunaenda asubuhi kabisa before anze job ama jioni but sometimes fear wao na waambo shona nyinyi mnakujanga asubuhi sana wanarauka mbele <laughs> unaona sasa yeah. so that's a challenge you say ukisema ulipe hiyo 30000 for a license yeah. ata hawezi get the 30000 out of the business of doing of photography in town unaona yeah. so that's a challenge jutapata kanjo amekushika umeenda central central umeambiwa 
wapi license hauna so lazima waanze kuelezea polisi at least wana to understanding muambia mm. hii ni fee inafaa kutoka hapo because they also parents muambia nisipofanya hii hii ni school fees unatafuta unaambiwa yes do but usifanye hivyo mm. fanya hivi unaona wanakuongelesha but that's a challenge that's one of the ch- challenge that photographers face mm. na maybe equipment ni expensive sasa kama sasa hizi you want you have many photographers but clients are the same so lazima ukuwe outstanding ndio at least you get that client from the other photographer so mm-hmm. that's a great challenge in the face but the great moments to say how the worst <laughs> moments great moments have been rooms where watu prominent wako just because of photography nimekuwa mm-hmm. room moja na Raila oh, anya nyongo unaona mm-hmm. like na <laughs> the funny part ni unamwambia fanya hii na no, nakusikiliza no, unaona sasa yeah. so that's something that I, I guess that's something good yenye na feeling proud unaambia um we imagine unaambia Raila songa hivi mm. na pia anasonga unaona so it's it's something that i feel proud about yeah. um i've talked to great people just because of photography i've interacted with great minds just because of photography mm. so it's, it's it's something good it has, it's taking me places please ni mimi siko yona ntai yeza enda watu wenye nilikuwa naona sitawai yona mm. but your camera imefanya nikaingia doors na siulizwi wewe ni nani mm. nini unaona so i am just thankful to iko tu sawa yeah iko tu i just love how you're so enthusiastic about this camera <laughs> and uh, do you have people supporting you in your work mm. my parents wana ni support sana Uh, friends clients wangu wao ni support sana but friends sana wao wanani push juu our friends ndio wanakutafutia clients unaona mm. kama ni family wanakupea ile emotional support unaona wanakwambia you can do this mm. so hao ndio wanani support mostly na na washukuru sana kama ni shule lecturers wana unajua kama ni kusoma you, you learn photography so lazima upatie si tu ile photography ya kawaida when you go to school kuna vitu zingine zenye una learn zenye haukuwa unajua mm-hmm. so that mimi nime learn shule na outside pia nime na practice what you learn in class would come nje kwa field mm-hmm. you just put it into practice and it's been something that i can be proud of so yeah So if I wanted to venture in such a profession or such an area what do I need to know Um you need to know photography is not all about you having the camera because many people have cameras Wao well, unaweza kuwa na camera na wao kuna camera Wambue take a picture of this tree but wewe vile utaipiga picha na vile mtu mwingine atapiga picha it's very different kuna mwenye atapiga picha mpaka ukiona unasema hmm hii ni ile mti kweli yenye iko pale unaona so kuna vitu kama hizo so lazima uko na mwenyewe uko na the way you di- review things differently usipige tu hivyo okay, so lazima uko na hiyo na kitu kingine when you get in the field field of photography lazima ujue kuna challenges it's not the road up is so smooth kwa sababu kuna point yenye kuna hakuna market iko low sasa kama sisi tulikuwa tunafanya photography covid came wame shot hakuna events unaona yeah. mm. na sisi we depend on these events sasa hapo unaona ni challenge sasa lazima wewe mwenyewe anze kufikiria what else can i do apart from this so time ili but thank god at least vile kama hivyo unajua sasa lazima akili yako ifunguke uanze kujiambia hey now hakuna events so job iko chini hauwezi enda kushoot um utafanya nini nyingine hiyo time nikaanza ku enroll hapo freelance apwork.com uh, kuna watu wenye wanapiga picha but hawajui ku edit. So mimi najua ku edit. Sasa hivi na bid hizo jobs za ku edit. At least nilijua ku bid hizo jobs na nini ya rating yangu ikaenda juu. So saizi hata kama yes naweza enda field ku shoot but hiyo time yenyewe niko free bado naingia pale naangalia oh kuna these other, these other jobs na unajifanya unaona. So hizi challenges zikikam anza kufikiria vile unaweza zihandle na vile unazihandle differently itakusaidia hapo mbele. Unaona kama saizi kama si covid saizi so, singekuwa najua ku bid unaona but through that that challenge ilifungulia a door of opportunity saizi so, at least i can edit photos za watu unaona so through the challenge it opened another door eh so usione tu sometimes ni challenge so we shut down a uh-uh. 
tackle the challenge, face it head on, and you'll be successful. Hata kama itakushinda, at least you tried. No, no. Yeah. But through what you've told us, what is your call to the community, especially young people? Um, I can tell young people, if you love something, go for it. Hata kama ni ngumu waje, there is just a way yenye uneza manuva na you'll be successful. Watu wengi wamejaribu na wamemake it. Unaona? Lupita alienda Kenya National Theater auditions. Aka fail. She stop. Haku stop. Unaona? Ona sasa hizi I mean Oscars huko hivyo unaona. If you love something wewe usiangalie the challenges. The challenges ndo zinafaa kwa zinakufanya ukuwe strong. Unaona? Challenges by the way ndo zinakufungua anga macho. Bila challenges utabaki hapo. But through the challenges utafikiria juu na uki face the challenges head on you'll be someone better so if you love something the fact that umeanza tu that's a stepping stone already you're successful face uko mbele na unajua ukiangalia uko mbele you'll be successful so usilalie kama una kama uko na talent kucheza football usiangalie tu useme Kenya kumekuwa na wanyama peke yake mwenye amecheza English Premier League hapana mm. you can be the next wanyama unaona sio tu ati ni, msemo, ni mtu mmoja ame succeed in a particular field so you want you don't want to venture into that you can be the second person no no ama hata kama hauta succeed through that field unaweza pata a way leeway from that field no no kama unaweza fanya photography sasa hizi na hapo mbele maybe out of this photography upatane na mtu just through talking aku uh, direct into another field na ikufanye kuwa successful so usikalie kitu talent yako ama what you love doing if you love doing something hapo na tena sasa young people usikuwa ni ile mind ya employee yakuwa employed kwa employed ni sawa lakini sasa juu hakuna job sasa hizi anza wewe mwenyewe kufikiria what if nisikuwa employed will you just sit there if i kuwa hivyo anza kufikiria if I, if i will not be employed what can i do unaona na ukifikiria hivyo angalia pia wewe juu sasa hizi tunatakwa la unemployment wewe mwenyewe unaweza saidia aje hii shida ya unemployment unaona kama unaweza fanya unaweza find a solution badala ya kuemploy wepe kujemploy mwenyewe you can employ with other two unaona hapo umesaidia society tukipata 100 people wenye wanasema mimi naweza jemploy and other two people au sasa tutakuwa na 300 people wenye wako already employed unaona alafu tena usiangalie this job uone ati a a hii job ni ndogo a a kila job iko na kuna watu wana make a living out of it sasa kama i was talking to a friend of mine ana uzanga mayai na smoki on a day on a daily basis anaweza make profit ya 1200 1500 profit anaweza smoki pale otc month monthly unaweza pata amepata that's 45000 unaona ukienda kuwa employed starting ndio upate 45000 ni ngumu unaona so mtu mtu akimuona hapo anaona ah mtu anafanya nini ana mdarao eh. but deep down he or she is making a killing out of it ameshinda ule mtu mwenye kwa employed so si dharau kazi yote wewe fanya hiyo kazi yote unaweza make a killing out of it mm. eh, so kitu isiko hold back go for what you want na i guess utakuwa successful usikae tu hivyo mm. yeah mimi nimependa sana your passion towards photography mm-hmm. and how it has made you realize that unaweza fika popote yeah. doing what you love yeah. so thank you so much i appreciate that as you have had if you love something go for it Do not let the challenges deter you from going for what you want. Na usidharau kazi yoyote. Kama unapenda kucheza karata, go do it, make a living out of it. Kama unacheza unapenda ku dance ama unapenda ku shoot as he does, do it. Do not feel demoralized by what you do. Usidharau kazi yoyote. Go do it. Find what you love and use it to make yourself an outstanding person in the society. This is Youth in Action. I am Nyangweso Grenis. This is the way to do it. This is the way